Good morning, I guess. And here we are. The first trial is complete. And there's something new in our quest log and we made some progress. Improve your magical abilities to access the next trial. Oh, okay, we have to find a lot. Mm, Professor Sharp's assignment. Acquire and use a focus potion. We don't have a focus potion yet. Acquire a Maxima and Edurus potion to use them simultaneously. Don't know how to do that. Attend Herbology class. Um, Practice flying near the spies. Practice flying near Keenbridge Tower. Okay, then we have the hidden herbology one and cross wands. Mm, maybe I'm gonna track cross wands. I mean, after all this fighting, we can seriously just try it again and i think this time we will be victorious because they can't be harder than this other guy but i don't know how many wiggenwell potions if any i have right now I should ask Saroni. I've got hmm? spectacular what? news. The broom upgrade's ready. Ha! Stop by the shop when you can. Uh huh. Broom upgrade. Okay. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter okay. at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. That sounds rather unsympathetic. Oh my after god. Class so many people. The tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you descendo. Useful for pulling objects to the ground. Okay. I've got so much mail, but first let's battle. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed ones ready? Look who's back. Ready to redeem yourself? Yeah. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Natty. Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Championship. Okay, I think I have to configure it a little bit. Um, we want maybe Akio. One more try. Care to try again? Yeah. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Yeah. 
Special scanner. <laughs> no, come on. No, come on. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do something else. <laughs> Care to try again? No. No, I don't think so. Not right now. Understandable. But don't take too long. We'll be waiting. Okay, I have enough fighting for one day. Mm, okay, so we have lots of quests. Beasts class. Beasts. Okay. So that is outside, very far away. About here, okay, travel. Hey, this should be fun. And what is this building, by the way? Have I been here before? This is on Hogwarts grounds, but where are we? This is one of these weird chests that I don't know how to open yet, so I have to come back anyway oh and look at the grounds and at the colors it's so autumn-y i can't wait for autumn really can't wait oh but now i have to wait <laughs> just taking a nap until everyone's here class begins or not where do I have to go? Hello? Begin. Everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous. Especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think mm -hmm. pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Uh, okay. Tap and then assign the beast petting brush to your spell set. Mm-hmm. Okay. So? Ah, that's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Mm-hmm. 
Die ist fit. There you go. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. Mm. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> uh, stupid thing. Oh. What in Merlin's uh, name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Mm -hmm. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Okay, sure. There you go. Do you want some food? <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Oh no. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now. Okay, bye. Where is our new Here. student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Okay. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? I enjoyed it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Do you think I have nothing I better to, to do? To Come here. Ah, Poppy, what is it? Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. 
in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Come with me. Oh, okay, right now? Right I now. Take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. I'm the first. Really? Ooh. Well, thank Are you, you flirting think, with me, Poppy? As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. I think she's flirting with me. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Poppy, <laughs> where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. I trust you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. Okay. It's just ahead. Stand back. She's just magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. A uh, bow with the right one, yes. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. Mm -hmm. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Okay, we're building relationships with beasts. What did you think of High Wing? Great. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Mm -hmm. Would be good, yeah. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep High Wing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Okay. Beast class complete. So, new quest available. Mm-hmm, okay. Gladwin Moon, the Hogwarts caretaker, wishes to speak with me about something. I should find him near the reception hall. Oh, that's um, far away. 
Okay. Yeah, travel here. Okay, so we need to get out of the Great Hall. Oh, peeps. <laughs> and he's right here, huh? Oh, we have another cabinet that we haven't opened yet. And of course, these riddles are still open. Where is the next... Ah, I heard him. I heard something fly. Yes. It's not flying here, right? Wait, where was it? It was here. No, but where was the... Passage. Ooh, this is also very nice here. Faculty tower. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I don't know where the next um, Dead Lane key is. Ah, there, there it went. I think, right? Did it go here? No. But I saw something. Uh, anyway, okay, let's wait. Hello. Where's these flu flames? Not here, it seems. Okay, let's talk. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. humoring me for a moment see if you can remove the moon from the statue mm -hmm. oh, odd little contraptions aren't they it seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed which incidentally can only be done at night mm -hmm. uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll explain more as we walk uh, okay. ever since that fateful day in the village those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle a fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. Torment? You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? 
<gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigoises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jack and apes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Um, what's in it for me? Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh. But first, Alohomora. Oh, oh. Yes. Okay, Alohomora it is. And I think we're gonna go in there the next time.